Hey guys, how's it going? Sorry, I, uh, you got harsh light or you got no light. So, not, not much I can really do. Uh, so, today, let me scoop a little closer. Let me move you back into the shade. Hopefully I can get there. I hope I'm visible. So, today, I got to jack up my tire again. Um, apparently, either bad CV axle or bad wheel bearings, something is groaning in here. Now, I'm not going to show you. I'm not going to let you listen. It'd be hard for you to hear anyways. But my aunt said, with all that time you put into working on your car, why don't you show people a little bit about what you're doing? I don't know if this is going to turn into a car channel. Um, not really set up to do that, but I don't mind showing you guys uh, kind of the ins and outs of my vehicle and kind of how I go about things. Now, I don't have a shop here. I'm basically uh, using limited tools and not a lot of uh, good footing, you know, like I'm on gravel. Let me show you. Yeah, so it's not the greatest, but again, you know, not the worst. I do want to try and fix my thing here because you guys are not very stable. Might look like you are, but yeah. I do what I want to do. Yeah. So that's most of what we got here. Got my little thing here. Got my jack. Let's uh, adjust you again. Yeah. Let me kind of move some tools. You guys are gonna see a little bit what I'm doing. So, not doing anything too spectacular or special. Just jacking it up. That's all we're doing. Not doing anything that's really going to be a necessity to see. Just making sure that I'm firmly planted. There we go. And up she goes. <sighs> Probably gonna be a long video. Let's see how long you guys will last. No, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna get this jacked up and we will be right back. And the only way I got this is to turn it off. All right, adjusted the camera, got her jacked up. Let me kind of show you what we're working with here. Hopefully you can hear everything. I'm going to try not to talk while I'm moving it. Let's see if you guys can give her a listen. Pretty loose. Lots of play. Don't know if you heard that. Not a lot of movement for up and down. Right? Really nothing to speak of. Left and right. Oof. Wheel bearings. Pretty sure. Let's uh, let's take a look on the inside and see what we can see real quick. Let me uh, pause this again. All right, so a little bit of movement. Don't think the CV joint is bad because uh, I just don't think it's bad. But we'll pull it out and we'll take a look at it anyways. For now, we've got this little tip here. I'm just gonna place it right here. Fantastic. There's the problem right there. My wheel's coming off. By quite a bit, it appears. Let's take another look. She's coming off. That could be the issue. It could be just as easy. Probably not going to get the wheel bearing off. I'm going to need new nuts and everything. But, could be the uh, tires coming off. It's good there. This could have been the problem all along. Good thing I have these caps on. I would have lost my lug nut. Let's uh, bring it down a little bit. 
get this on, go do a quick test drive. Maybe that'll fix the problem. All right. So all of them were loose, which means it's not seated properly. Can't remember who the last person to put this tire on is. Uh, I was doing it at work. But it doesn't appear that it was seated properly. That's fine, we got her on in case. If you ever want a trick to get these on, like you know, I work at Big O Tires, or at least until this week I was, this bottom lug nut right here. You wanna put that one on first, and then drill it in and get it all tightened, and it'll seat the thing. Once it's properly seated, then you can put the other ones on. Good to go. Grab your torque wrench. Said it's about 80, 90 pounds. This is a Toyota, so 80, 90 pounds. And then you throw it on. If you got big like Ford F-150, we generally put those at 150 foot pound. Um, you know, just you can check in your owner's manual. It'll tell you. Go buy one from AutoZone for 20 bucks. Save yourself a lot of hassle. So I'm gonna lower this down now, take her for a quick spin, and see if she's grinding. If she is, well, we're gonna rip it off. I'll go from there. Always try the easiest fix first and go from there. So, I'll go ahead and rip this uh, jack out and we'll go from there. Pause again. Okay. That's how you fix your car. I tore it close to fucking 90 pounds. When I did it. I think I'm the last one that did this. I was pretty tired at the end of the day. Maybe I wasn't focused. But I think we found the problem. I'm going to take her on another test drive something a little bit more intense and uh, we'll go from there. 